Hey everyone, it's Rachel Kaufman from Greater Richmond Scan. Thank you again for joining me for another Take 5 video today. Over the past few weeks, we've gone through a lot of different skills like square breathing, tense and release, and even stretching, all to help us pause, breathe, and calm. Today I'm going to invite you to try another tip for take five, which is a feelings check-in. Starting off in the morning or even throughout the day, it is so important to check in with our feelings. Sometimes when I don't do this, I notice that I got really short with a coworker on the phone. Something a family member did make me feel like I was going to explode a little bit. Or even... I just started feeling, whew, I have this knot in my stomach that I just don't know why. And I forget to check in with my feelings. So I ask myself, how am I feeling right now? Am I feeling sad, happy, angry, scared, confused, excited, hopeful, or all of those feelings all at once? And where do I feel that in my body? Do I feel stressed in my shoulders? Nervous in my stomach? Angry in my hands? Sad in my eyes? Happy in my smile? Where are these feelings happening in my body? I invite you to take this pause just now how are you feeling right now? And where are you feeling that in your body? And what we know is even just by noting that, bringing that to your conscience and saying, how am I feeling right now? And where is that in my body? That moment of doing that, whether that's in the morning or any time throughout the day when we're starting to feel like that feeling, whatever it is, is getting really intense, just by pausing, noting that there's a feeling there or feelings, and recognizing where that feeling is in our body, that can release so much tension. And what we know is that for kids, they need even more help with this. Friendly reminders from grown-ups, feelings check-ins together, a lot of time to say pause. How are you feeling? And where is that happening for you? And this skill, I hope can be helpful for you this week and beyond to just take five, even five seconds to just notice where you're feeling and how you are feeling and knowing that any feeling is okay as long as we can be safe with it. I hope this video was helpful for you today. I hope you can take this tip and bring it into your homes and into your families and with your colleagues this week. And I look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you.